What's going on YouTube? Gani with DER Reptiles here. Today, welcome to Twist em Up Thursday. Now, on Thursdays, under this new format, I will be going over stuff that you guys want to know. How did you build that? How do you build this? If I know how to do it, I'm going to show you how. I got a recent request from someone on how to build a mealworm slash superworm breeding area. So I'm going to show you what I did. Because I, you know, whenever I first started YouTube, you know I had the bearded dragon, you know I had a leopard gecko. So this is for anybody that needs mealworms or superworms. This is how you can set them up and breed them. Okay? So, this is a miniature one. I don't have all of the stuff to build one, so I'm just going to tell you how and kind of show you how to do it. But I'm not going to build one myself. For one, I don't need one, and this is pretty much it. So this you can buy at Walmart. They're just a three-drawer uh, desk thing. You can just put different things in it. They have the bigger ones too. What I did was I bought the bigger ones and I bought like two of them and I just stacked them on top of one another. And then one like this I used for the pupa stage and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So mealworms and superworms, they both go through three stages. You've got the egg, you've got the larva slash worm part and then you got the actually there's four there's the egg there's the mealworm or superworm then there's the pupa and then there's the beetle which will recycle into eggs and start the whole process over so with mealworms it's easier for superworms it's a little bit more difficult but i will go over that too I do have experience in doing this. This is the way I did it, and it worked out great. So, in the top one, I would put my mealworms in. And I would wait for them to turn into pupas, because that's what they will do. If you put a, uh, the mealworms in the refrigerator, that slows them down, that makes them live longer. If you have a room temperature, they will eventually either die or turn into pupas, which is these little alien-like looking like things. After they get to that, what I would do is I would put them in a different drawer, just so I know the other mealworms wouldn't hurt them. Okay? Well, after they get through with that process, and they turn into a beetle, this is where the three drawer system really comes into play. So, what you do is you're going to need a three drawer system, you're going to need a glue gun, glue sticks and a knife or a dremel tool or some way to cut the bottom of the drawer. So what you want to do is you want to cut and leave you about an inch to inch and a half and cut out the center of the drawer. The reason why you're going to do that is because you're going to get like your screen for your windows, the nylon stuff, you're going to get that and cover up that hole and extend that to the outside. So basically, if you have it trimmed out here, you're gonna have the screen go clear almost to the edge, all the way down and around. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put hot glue all on that. And it's easier to, when you do it, it's kinda hold it down on the corners and glue the center part because you got to put a, quite a bit of glue on there and you want to make sure glue is all the way around it because if not then they can get in between so glue that real real good and then when you put it back in here I used I used two different beddings for them I used wheel or um, wheat bran and also I used like oatmeal that you can buy at the store. Either, either way works good. So you put the substrate on the top and then you put your beetles in this top drawer. 
That's the one with your net in it, your screening in the bottom. And then on your second drawer, you want to put a little bit of bedding in there because what's going to happen is those beetles are going to lay eggs, which is, you know, with them moving around, it's going to fall through that screen into the next drawer. Now, you'll notice that next drawer is going to collect a lot of, you know, the waste, poop and stuff like that. That's fine. Leave them in there for, I would say, a couple weeks and then change out that drawer that has that, the eggs in it, change that out to another drawer and put that underneath your beetles again. That way you're keeping re reproducing stuff. And then put that drawer underneath. So what you're doing is you're allowing the beetles to lay eggs, which is transferring down to that second level. And after you let that set for a while, you put them into a different on a different level and put a new one in there. The reason being is you don't want to have too many generations of mealworms in there because the bigger ones will eat the small ones. So, and the beetles will eat the eggs too. So, with that being said, that is how I breed the, I bred the mealworms. Now, it's gonna take a while before you'll see any babies hatch, and they, I mean, they're real, real tiny, microscopic size. So once you put from this drawer down to here, after about, I would say, seven to, about a week, get you some food, like lettuce or, you know, carrots or something like that, and put it down there so they can eat. Of course, you wanna feed your beetles too. And here's another hint. Depending on what food you put in there, don't automatically take it out because there can be eggs in that also. They will lay eggs anywhere they can, okay? So, keep, keep them fed. Make sure you feed them the food that gives them water too. Lettuce, um, carrots, apples, stuff like that. So that is how I bred mealworms. It's just a cycle. So now with superworms, you can do it the same way, but the best way I found to do it is you get those little two ounce deli cups, and then with the lids, you poke like three or four holes in there, and the superworms you want to breed, you put one per tub, put the lid on it, and put it, put it in a dark place. What that does is that stresses them out and causes them to go into the pupa stage. After they go into the pupa stage, they turn into the beetle. At that point, you can take them out, put them in this top drawer, and do the same process again. That is how I bred superworms and how I bred mealworms. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them. I hope I covered everything. If I did leave anything out, just leave it down below. I'll be glad to reach out again and touch up on my next video. And don't forget, tomorrow we are doing a Free Talk Friday. And what's going to happen on Free Talk Friday? We are going to do the 300 subscriber giveaway. Yes, it is finally here. We're going to be doing it tomorrow night on the live stream. Don't you forget. And also... I got, we might go ahead and do that at a snake cutting too, the egg cutting, because it's day 56. They haven't pipped yet, but tomorrow's day 56. We'll probably do that also. And then on a side note, Andy, DEA Exotics, happy birthday, man. It's good to have you in the community. It's good to have your family in the community. You guys are great, funny, inspiration to everybody, positive attitude. Everybody's good to go. I mean, you guys are just hands down a great channel. If any of my subscribers have not been to the DEA Exotics channel, go check them out. You'll have a blast. You'll want to subscribe to them because you'll want to see that next video coming out. And they have a thousand subscriber giveaway going on right now, and it's for a hog nosed snake. So go on over there and check them out. But until tomorrow, if you like my video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, 
hit that notification bell. I think it's right over there. Or up there, or over there. It may be down there, but I think it's over there. And I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to my channel, for supporting my channel. I hope everybody's enjoying this new format. It's something new. It's, you know, kind of out of the box for me. So I'm just trying to provide good content for you guys. So until next time, I will see you on my next vlog.